Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Skyrim. Codename Soak here. Coming at you today with some new adventure. We're going to be heading up to High Hrothgar to speak with the Greybeards about what it is to be a dragonborn and and shout at everybody in a rude, rude manner. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you call, recall last time, we got ourselves the bound bow, as you can see there. And we're going to use that. It's going to be amazing. Um, but I wanted to start off by saying, just look at this view. Gah! Gorgeous. I've played through this game so many times, and I've been through here so many times on PS3. But PC, it's my first time being in this particular location, especially with the fog and everything. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Game is looking good. We got this giant tree... It's over here. It's just laid out. Going across. Oh, there's a person there. It's a bandit from the looks of it. So I'll tell you what. Let's just come right over this way. And let's put our bound bow to good use. So I got that. Get my... Muffle ready. Do I not have any magic... Or some health potions? Let's look. Oh, I bet... Pretty sure I ran out at some point in the last uh, video. Okay, so anyway, time for some bound bow action. Wrong. That's right. Okay, let's see if we can get this bandit. Where are they at? Where did you go? Zoom it in a little bit. Oh, sitting down right over here. Yep, bandit outlaw. Wait for it. Oh, we stopped moving. Why would you stop moving? There we go. I was hoping he'd fall down. But that just means I can go get his loot. Ha ha! I don't want Lydia to follow, like, right behind me and screw something up, so Lydia... Got your wait here, please. On guard here. Thank you. Alright, sheathe the bow. Make our way very carefully over here. Hunting bow, okay. Some arrows, the dagger, gold, lockpick, and some boots. All right, so let's reenact the scene from uh, from the fugitive. He's like, "I didn't kill my wife," and I'm like, "I don't care. I don't care." And then, and then Harrison Ford jumps off the dam. Go! Go! I said... Go, sir! I got an idea. Oh. Oh, oh, shit on me! Shit on me! Ah! <gasps> well, that just happened. Alright, so... Made it my way... Back over here. It wasn't too far. After making that stupid decision. And look, even it... Daytime. Gorgeous. Not the fog, not anything like that. Still. Gorgeous. We're not going to go back on to this thing here. We're just going to straight up just murder this guy. And now that we know he has basically no loot. Play it cool. She. Oh, almost ready. Whoop! There she goes. Ah! Or at least I'm pretty sure. There she goes. Yay! Yay! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Alright, so. Instead of screwing that whole thing up like I did a moment ago, um, what I was going to do was throw the person off the thing and then say um, I've got a little bit of travel ahead of me my dog's whining for some reason what do you want anyway um, so I'm gonna head towards Iverstead which is that direction as you can see there and um, if anything happens along the way you guys will see it if not I'll see you in Iverstead all right it looks like we're approaching Iverstead be right up here. 
get a little... Hey, you've entered Iverstead, and it's been discovered. Hooray! There we go. Alright. So let's come over here. We're going to talk to uh, Klimek. And accept a little side mission from him. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. What types of deliveries, sir? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. Gotcha. The Greybeards tend not to get Oops. out much, if you catch my meaning. And what do they give you in return, good sir? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Ah. So we could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. All right. Okay. Oh, hold on. My phone's going off. What is this? Oh. Hey, I just gained a few subscribers. Hooray! If you're if you're watching this video, thank you, uh, subscribers, for subscribing <laughs> and, and watching the videos. The videos. Let's see. Hold on, I'm checking my phone, making sure that all my um, stuff is muted here. Okay. That should be good. <clears throat> so, be careful up there. we're gonna take Klimek's meat, Honestly, his salted I'm meat, to up to High Rothgar, which is all up that way. <laughs> so, first thing, first things first, just in case, well, auto save just happened, but I'm gonna make a little quick save as well, like that. Boom. And actually, on the way, we're going to encounter, you can see it right here. These little altar uh, stone tablet things that kind of tell a little bit of a story. But I'm going to kind of breeze through, th through, through it. <laughs> breeze through <laughs> Anyway, breeze through it. And if you get all the way up there. Hold on, let me get some stuff ready. And if you get all of them. Uh, you get a... I can't remember if it's a daily power or if it's just something you get for a day. It's something you get. <laughs> I know I'm not being very descriptive as far as what it is, but... I picked the round... The r ah! Get it together, Soap, with your speech! The wrong bound weapon. Bound bow, that's what I wanted. Okay. I got my muffle because there are creepy crawlies and other types of creatures around here. Saw one just now. Where is he? There he is. Where are you going, you eight legged bastard? Take this! Got our soul absorption on here in a moment. There we go. Soul captured! Turn in the... We're going to be freaking Shang Tsung. With all these souls. Mortal Kombat reference for you kids out there who don't know who Shang Tsung is. <laughs> Alright. So far, so good. Nothing insane. I think we're really only going to encounter like three or four enemies along the way. One of them is a frost troll that I'm actually just going to run past. Because, to be honest, fighting trolls isn't really worth it. At least the like regular trolls, maybe the armor trolls, you know, will get you something a little different. But regular trolls, you pretty much just get troll fat, and that's about it. I mean, they might have another random thing, but troll fat is just a uh, resist poison um, ingredient anyway. And we're already resistant to poison, so for our character, it's kind of kind of pointless to re to really get in there and fight trolls, at least. Intentionally and whatnot. Okay. Enemy number two should be coming up here shortly. Just gonna be all hidden sneaky sneaks. 
because don't want to get surprised. I want to surprise them and not have them surprise us. It's the name of the game. All right. Where are you? Oh. Let's come back this way so I can cast my stuff and not alert them. Dog, come here. There we go. Hey there. Calm down. <laughs> All right. Let's cast that. So far, no one. Just wait for a moment for our magic to get back up and then get our bow. Get our bow. There we go. Cannot wait till we get quiet casting. That is going to be awesome. All right. Still keep playing it cool. So far, I'm not seeing any any baddies. Draco. May have to put my dog up here in a moment. We just got back from the outside and he's like, oh, there's one right there. That's Saber Cat! Excuse me! Oh, I thought he was going to come after me there for a moment. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> but, oh, this bound bow is doing work. We're level 11 and we have this kind of weapon on us. And it's only going to get better. Oh, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> that was a little too close for my personal taste. Oh, that was a cool looking shot. Oh, finish the job. There we go. No soul gem large enough. Okay. Got some stuff, though. Bye-bye, kitty. Let's throw you down to the people and scare them. All right, hold on. My dog's got to get some attention. Be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Put the dog in the crate. Should be okay for now. For now is the keyword there. Oh, why did I put my bound bow away? There we go. All right. Random other bad guys, where are you? Let's see. I always like to check the turns. Because could be... Like, I'm looking off to the left of my screen just to see if there's anyone up there. Don't see anybody. So we'll just keep playing it cool. Like I said, there's only like three or four bad guys on this whole trip. Oop, excuse us. How did I miss? Am I missing this wolf, really? Is it going through the wolf? Well, I missed, for sure. There we go. I could have sworn at least one or two of those shots actually literally... Whoa. Fighting all over the place. Oh, that's me. Look out. Alright, where you at, wolf? Let's see. Can we... <laughs> that wouldn't have worked <laughs> at all. <laughs> Alright, well, quick save. There we go. I thought, oh, this would be cool little little trick shot, you know? But no, that didn't work at all. <laughs> and actually, from here on out, I don't think I need my bow, because I'm going to run past the troll, so... Should be okay. Hello, goat. Right, here's our next... little marker. Emblem 3. And I believe there's a total of... 10 or... 12, if I recall correctly. And the more that I think about it, I think it's just you get a... Uh, not necessarily a power, but like uh, an ability, so to speak, for a day. I just... 
I can't remember the name of it. I, and I can't remember what it does. <laughs> but we'll get it anyway. Just so you guys can see what it is. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much... It's smooth sailing from here on out until you hit the troll. And you can choose to battle the troll or admire this view. Look at this view. Ugh. PC, you are gorgeous. Boom! Look at that. What's my screen capture thing on Steam? Is it F12? Nope, that's turned up my volume. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm seriously gonna take a screenshot of this because this just looks good. Let me get a vantage point. Alright. Give me one second, people. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just admiring views. Alright, took myself a screenshot and I actually made my hub kind of go away. I wonder if, I mean, I can't really. No, it doesn't show my meters either. This would be a very interesting and cool. Just look how cinematic that makes that look. I'm gonna try to play like this for just a little bit, just to challenge myself. But yeah, I took a screenshot for for that little part because that that was such a cool looking view. Keep an eye out for wolves. But it also means that if I come across something, I won't know what it is. I can discuss it here and be like. Does this work? No, for the trip up here, I'll just leave it off because it's just so cool looking, especially now that it's nighttime and all the, you know, I don't want to say northern lights or aurora borealis, but, you know, that stuff <laughs> is going on. Our, the troll actually is coming up here just around this bend. It's on, on top of a uh, cliff. A little overhang right... Over here. There he is. Just came into view. So, we're just going to run past him. I mean, pretty simple. Just wait for him to fall down. Arr, I'm a troll. Angry. Arr, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm just going to come back to that little emblem here in a moment. Let Lydia do some distracting. There you go. There you go. Alright. Come get my emblem, please. Number five. Ha ha. And we're on our way. <laughs> and if, uh... Oh, just look how cool this looks! Just taking that HUD off, basically, just makes the game look look even cooler. I didn't I didn't think that could be a thing. But no, if, if Lydia somehow dies, I... I've got another idea to get another follower to kind of take her place. But I'm not really worried about her dying. She's she's kind of a tank. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Ah, looking cool game. Don't even know what I'm picking up. I'm sure they're snowberries. And whatnot. Just look at how gorgeous this game is. Yeah. Sorry. I'm I'm a I'm a sucker for when games just look good. Not like oh oh my god, crazy graphics are so good. No, I'm talking like like this. This is a game at you know, uh, just looking good. And I'm sure. And don't don't tell me oh, installing your mods and it'll look even better. <laughs> I I know that my, installing mods would make it look better, but I'm kind of a kind of a purist when it comes to things like that. I, I like seeing what the developers like, you know, oh, hey, here's what the we intended the game to look like. Plus, I don't have a really crazy computer that I'm playing this on. It's just a, uh, an iMac running Windows. That's what it is. And actually, here pretty soon, that's going to be become my strictly gaming PC. I'm going to buy a new computer, um, I decided not to invest $1,500 plus dollars in a gaming PC, because literally that's the only thing I would do on it, and with the PS4 coming out, I can't, I don't think I'll be able to justify the money versus time spent playing it kind of thing, um, but, number nine, little Talos right there as well, but yeah, I'm gonna actually buy a new... Mac that's going to be my editing machine, so that way I can edit videos in a much quicker fashion. Now, uploading them 
is a different story. That's all dependent upon my internet, which my internet is just fine. Let's see. Number 10. There we go. We got our thing, but since we took the HUD off, we don't know what it is, so we gotta go into our... I'm pretty sure it's an active effect. Uh, Voice of the Sky, that's it. Yeah, so animals will neither attack nor flee from you for basically 23 hours, is what that is. So, I was pretty close. Alright, so let's open this up. We're gonna put... Klimek's supplies. Here we go. Store that in there. Boom! We also got a little potion right here. We'll take that. Take some of these flowers. It's very tricky, because I'm like, I don't know where I'm aiming! <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Little flowers. Boosh! Okay. So while I talk to the Greybeards, I'm just going to come inside and... Um, I'm gonna leave the HUD off, because, I mean, look at this, people, this, ugh, gorgeous game. Anyway, enough of that nonsense, I'm going inside. Okay, inside High Hrothgar. Here come the old men in the robes. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Answering your summons, you called me. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. We can do that. So, without the HUD, we wouldn't know what to do unless we came, you know, into here. Demonstrate your unrelenting force. Shout. So, shout at us. And let us taste of your voice. Oh, I'll shout at you. That's totally command animal. <laughs> I, for I forgot that I put that on. <laughs> Unrelenting force. Um, let me favorite that so I don't make this mistake again. Anywho, Oops! take that old man. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Curious what this whole Dragonborn thing's about. I hear it's a it's a pretty cool gig. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Oh, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragon Blood that came before you. You don't say. So I'm not the only one. I'm not a Highlander, you know, only one that kind of thing. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Oh, really? You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. All right, well, I'm ready to learn. Let's just get to it. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Oh yeah, ready? When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. I guess with All the... shouts are made uh, up of three <laughs> words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Nice. So I guess when you turn that HUD off, it turns the kind of general subtitles off. Alright, we learned the row. The second word of Fosroda. 
but learning a word of power is only the first step. It's the market's need for constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Okay. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. All right, let's tap, tap that. All right, so we have to use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. All right, they're gonna have some targets pop up. And we're gonna. Who's? Who's? We just gotta wait for it to recharge, and they'll uh, send the second target. Well done. Again. Boom! Anyone else? You learn quickly. Once more. One more time. Who's? Haha! Knock the old man over. <laughs> Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Hooray! We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. All right. So we'll head outside. We're gonna follow. I assume this is Master Bori. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. But I don't know because the HUD's off. This looks freaking cool, though. Like, very cool. Who would imagine that turning something off like that would just make the game even cooler? Oh. Look at it. Look at it. So cool. You guys are going to get tired of me <laughs> saying that, but... Damn it, this game's gorgeous. Alright. Boy, boy! Boy, boy. Teach us something, buddy. Master Bori will teach you Wurd, which means whirlwind. The whirlwind sprint. Whirlwind. I think he just spit on us. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. <laughs> Her fists. Yeah. Getting tapped again. He's tapping that. He's moonwalking apparently. Okay. Alright. So I need to get Whirlwind Sprint. Equip it, because we're getting ready to sprint. Wolfgar. That's such a cool name. Master Bori. Boy, next. boy. Oh. It's your turn. Stand next to me. All right. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right. We're ready. Let's rock and roll. Boom. It's going to come in quite handy uh, if we ever get into kind of a sticky situation. We can just use that to get a head start and then run through on the rest of it. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. All right, what is next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. OK. 
Okay. So. Breath and focus. The next. Did I level up? Nope, not yet. I'm almost there. Um. Anyway, the next quest for the Greybeards leads us. Not here. That's the uh, Falkreath, but the Horn of Jurgen Wingcaller, which is. Well, anyway, somewhere. But we're not going to do it right away. I'm actually going to head to Falkreath and do a quest for the Jarl. And actually, it's kind of the beginning of the Hearthfire uh, quest, the DLC, whatnot. But I'm not going to do the whole thing right away. I'm just kind of getting some leveling up. Um, and then we're going to hit up the Dawn Guard and actually not be a vampire. We're going to be a vampire hunter. Um, what else is there? We got we got some pretty cool stuff coming up. So I'm going to just fast travel my way over here to Falkreath. But I haven't gone there yet. So I need to go to nearest stable and uh, drive myself over there. See you in a little bit. All right. Made it to Falkreath. Did you see a dog out there? No. We did see a wolf on, on top of the freaking mountain, though. But no dogs. Oh, well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. Sorry. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. All right. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Yeah? You change your mind? The Dawn Guard could use somebody like you. Killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Ha! Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Alright, so got the whole Dawn Guard uh, quest acceptance thing. And that thing with the dog is actually a uh, Daedric quest. Um. <clears throat> it's actually the dog. Um, I forget his name, but he is similar to Shadowmere, as in can pretty much not be killed. Like he is ridiculous when it comes to the damage he can take. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna turn my HUD back on. Um, turn this back up there. All right, we're back in regular business. So. As always, tradition. Bip. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. It's my first time here. Come on, calm down. Let's see. Grape pine goods. Let's see if they have anything good. <laughs> I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. If you have any questions? All right, sir. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a stormcloak. Well, what have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. So it's probably crap. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Got some... Nope. Let's see. Restoration robes. Ring of blocking, no. Nothing really there. Any potions of anything cool? Some healing potions. We'll take those. Hmm. Rest of it looks alright. The food I'm not too concerned with. Any books? Candlelight, courage, frostbite, and healing. Nice little... I mean, for not really kind of a magic shop. It's got, you know, a couple little things there. Um, what else? Some glass. Can build some stuff, I guess. Some soul gems, though. Okay. I'm gonna sell him some of my stuff that I don't really need. Like the bow. And then some of these arrows. Steel arrow. The staff. I'm just going to sell those as well. Because I'm going to be using spells for <laughs> most of those, actually. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, we can sell 
quite a few things. Oh, black major oops, duh. There we go. Oh, he's at basically out of gold. Oh well. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Did we say we were gonna do that? <laughs> Run over the chest and steal from it right away. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Let's actually go find ourselves the Jarl. Uh. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Alright, let's talk to this Jarl. See what's up. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. I got your letter. Valkyrie, bitch! Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I... may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first. But now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. All right. We can do good. that. Kill the leader of Knife Point Ridge. All Execute right. every last bandit. Spare no one. Okay. Direct into the point. So where is this Knife Point Ridge? Ah, here we go. Knife Point Ridge. So that's our place we want to go. Looks like we got a little bit of traveling to do as well. You there. Oh. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Who are these people? I can't say I've ever seen them before. Um. Maybe they won't kill us. We'll say yes. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Never Interesting. Whoa. Whoa. That's... that's happening. Was not expecting that. Because that's never happened before. Those cult ar armor... They, they were wearing looks pretty cool. Alright, Ancient Knock down. Oh, Lydia. Boom. I am. I'm, I didn't know this was part of the Dragonborn thing. I always thought you had to be like level 80 to get that stuff going. Told this where you going. Ah, son of a bitch. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. <sighs> what say you in your defense? You caught me, I'll pay off my bounty. Smart woman. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. I hope, After I hope their the bodies are still there. Mm -hmm. Well, I was quick. I don't think that landed me in jail, really. I think I just... We need to do something about these vampire attacks. More or less got inconvenienced and taken around a cor corner and put in time out. That's really what I think is what just happened. All right. Cultist. Let's see. I'll take the arrows because I got some value. Nice. We'll take that. 75% faster? That's cool. Okay. Definitely. I'm thinking that is going to be better as far as um, magic regeneration compared to our black robes, which I believe are 50%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to rock that. That's sweet. I've never seen these masks before. It looks very... Uh, uh, what's, what's the thing I'm looking for? Almost like Star Wars ish is the best way to put it. I forget there's a thing or something in Star Wars that kinda has a mask like that. But yeah, we'll wear the gloves too. The boots decrease our 
thing, so we're okay there. Let's come find out. The orders. Board the vessel. Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Is it Raven Rock in Fallout 3? I'm pretty sure it is. And it's in something else, too, if I remember correctly. Anyway, take the Windhelm and begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Valkyrie before she reaches Soul Slime or something like that. Return with word of your success and Mirak will be, or shall be most pleased. Oh, yes, we're going to take that. And that. That, that. Those gloves look really cool. Are they better than the ones we're wearing? Eight. And what's our current gloves? No, okay, it's just exact same gloves. Duh, herb derp. Okay. And Valkyrie's looking badass. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Got the glow to it as well. Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Oh, you mean me? Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. All right, let's level up as well. Um, Magica, of course. All right, so let's see what we can do. Let's see. Where is Quiet? Quiet Casting's over here. Yeah. So we need to. Definitely do that. Um, apprentice illusion, not too concerned there. Dual casting illusion, eh, not too worried about that. How's our conjuration looking? We can do the dual cast, so that way our bound bow can be even stronger, which is sounds ridiculous. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Maybe it's have summoned the dragonborn to high wrath. Things are just becoming more badass by the second. Quick save, please. Alright, let's actually look at that quest. Dragonborn. I wonder... That's gotta be the DLC. I've never... That's never happened. And I've had the DLC for a little while now. So we'll just drop that for now. Because we have... To do something even cooler, which is kill the leader of Knife Point Ridge. Hooray! <laughs> After starting that Dragonborn quest, this almost seems like, eh, you know, screw what could it. it mean? The turn of the Dragonborn? Oh, I guess the reason I haven't done it since I've had it is because I never did the main quest. That makes sense. Okay. A little bit of herp derp moment there. Alright, we're just gonna... make our way... to this Knife Point Ridge... So you guys know the rules by now. I'm going to just travel along. If anything happens, you'll see it. If not, we'll see it at Knife Point Ridge. I encountered something, and I see flames. I'm not entirely sure what we got, so we're going to... Do I have enough magicka to dual cast it? Uh, well... I'm not too worried about that. Um... Eventually, we'll have enough magicka to dual cast. I think it's an Atronach. Yeah, there is an Atronach over there. Alright. Who are you taking all this fire? Literally, in this case. A Vigilant of Stendar. colors! You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. We're a hunter ourselves. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? Yep, that's a, that's what we do. But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Okay. Let's talk to this person a little bit more. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Okay. The Vigil will be watching you. Alright, good talking to a fellow hunter. Some fire assaults. 
Okay. I think we're getting kind of close now. It's a shame we can't dual cast, but... I mean, right now it's... I don't want to say overpowered, but it's... Our bow is pretty... Damn powerful right now. And I'm not too worried about the damage we're dealing, because we're only level... Uh, 12 right now, so... If this was like level, you know... 25, 30 and we couldn't dual cast it, I would be worried. But... We should be okay. And then we get... Looks like we got our camp coming up here very quickly. Alright. Looks like we just got a little mountain hike to do. So we're gonna... Try to finesse my way, finagle my way up here. And as soon as I get to the other side, should be at the location from the looks of it. Come on. A little jump. Haha. -ha. Shouldn't be too hard to get up. There we go. <clears throat> oh. Knife Point Ridge discovered. Is there anyone outside? Oh, yes. There's a lot of someone's outside. Hope they're heading over this way. I'm just going to come over here and hide a little bit. Because <clears throat> I doubt they'll run all the way over here just to, just to come find me. Of course, I say that and it sounds like they're coming. <laughs> or it seems like they're coming over here. Yep. There you are. Oh, excuse us, please. You gonna come this way? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Oh. But you got a bow. Oh, hit the invisible wall. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay. Game kind of locked up there for just a second. Okay. There's one down. Excuse us. Excuse us. Trying to jump. Oop, excuse us, please. <laughs> Ow. Just keep playing it cool. Everything will be okay. Lid is over there. Yeah, she is. Oh, <laughs> out of the bushes. All right, what do you got on you? All right, we'll take that, and we'll actually resurrect your friend here. Aha. There we go. And let's get other stuff ready. Right. I'm feeling psyched now that I got this cool armor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was feeling psyched for the bound bow. Where did that come from? Okay. Got the bound bow. Engage. Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Ooh, from distance. Bip! Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, good kill shot. Good kill shot. There we go. Doing work. Okay. Ugh, oh, bound bow is so good. What do we got? Oh, were you awake? Or are you sleeping? You picked a bad time to get <laughs> You picked a big bad time to be alive. Move it, Lydia. Lydia. There we go. Alright. Magicas. 
some cool little stuff. Let's see. Do that. That. So far, so good. This camp has a lot more people in it than I had originally anticipated. But that's okay. No problem there. What else do we have? A hunting bow. I wonder if this is an archery book. Haha! -ha! Look at me using my powers of deduction and reasoning. Okay. What the? Okay, I thought there was like a cart or something like glitched off the top there, but no, it's actually part of the thing. Okay. Alright. Let's. We got a nice little blacksmith forge here, too. Okay. Oh, excuse us, please. There we go. Soul gem, nice. Orcish warhammer, iron helmet. Oh, carrying too much. Lydia, come here, please. I'm right behind you. Straighten some things, please. I am sworn to carry uh, your burdens. Shut up. <laughs> okay, what can I hand your way? I want to keep that for myself, as just in case. Of course. Let's see. That, that. Um, nah, we'll hand you the, the staff. For now. Lead on. Okay. I'm going to take a moment to... There's an alchemy table back over there. I'm going to do a little alchemy and do a little smithing. And I will resume all of this here shortly. All right, so you lead, I'll follow. That's right. Lydia now has the cultist mask on because it was better than the uh, iron helmet I had her wearing. Um, did a little bit of smithing. Did a little bit of alchemy. Very, very quick little uh, session, so to speak. So now, Is there? still more people. Come on, guys! How come you didn't attack earlier? Oh, someone's on fire. Where's all that fire coming from? Oh, they must have a mage over there. Look out. Alright. Take your necklace, your jewels. Oh, how did that miss? Well, I got an idea how it missed. I was moving. What's the bandit doing? Junk shot. In the face, too. Damn, Lydia. Doing work with the new mask. I'm digging it. I've got your back. Excuse us. A couple of badass chicks just wrecking shop. I'm taking the, the arrows that I can sell. Um... In case someone was wondering, like, why I'm doing that. Okay. Nothing really going on up here. Search this guy real quick. Okay. So now, we can go inside the actual place and actually clear the stuff out. Let me make sure... Bound bow and fury. Okay. Nope. Oh. Actually, want to get my muffle on. Okay. I'm guessing that's the the leader or something that I need to kill. So I'm just gonna back up just a skosh. Gonna do a little bit of this. Bandit chief. Alright. 
All right, Lydia. Time to go to town like we have been. Sneak attack on Lydia. <laughs> that was all an accident. Move, Lydia. All right, let's take this. Damn straight. Boom. <laughs> oh, we are wrecking shop. Okay. That's shield is actually valuable enough. Okay. Steel helmet also. 30 points of magnetic damage, eh? I would not want to be on the business end of that. So what else you got around here? Looks like you had a little uh, little accident, from the looks of it. Probably some safety violations or something. Let's see what you got. What loot? Dwarven shield. We'll give that to Lydia. Magic poison. Soul gem. Mass paralysis. Oof. Definitely gonna want to use that at some point. Hold on, I hear a car alarm going off. Pretty sure it's not mine. Okay, yeah, I just had to take my headphone off there for a second and be like, is that my car? Oh, tease it. Tease it. There we go. Okay. An Imperial, eh? Lockpick. Some... Lots of iron ore around here. A little bit of bread, too. Okay. Here, we'll just drop that. Excuse us, Lydia. Excuse us, thank you. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine all of this iron ore. And then the next time you see me, we'll go back to uh, the Yarl and complete our quest. So, I'm going to get to mining, and I'll see you guys here in a moment. Alrighty, we made it back to the Jarl's longhouse. Let's turn in our quest. Bolin speaks much about the war and the Stormcloaks, but he knows who provides. I've killed the leader of Dive Point Ridge. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. Nice. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. All right. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. So similar to Whiterun, we can now purchase property here in Falkreath. But that's actually not what we're going to do. Oh, no, no, no. We have something in mind next. And... That is going to be Dawn Guard. We're going to start Dawn Guard for our next quest. So, I'm just going to stop it right here. Give me a little quick save. And that's going to do it for this one. So, uh, in our next video, like I said, we're going to start Dawn Guard. We're going to be the Vampire Hunter instead of the Vampire. Because I think the whole Vampire thing kind of is a waste of time, even though it's kind of cool. Um, but, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.